In question number 48, there is an ellipse given x square upon 9 plus y square upon 5 equal to 1. So, we can see the ellipse is going to be like this. And the foci of the ellipse are f1, comma 0 and f2, comma 0. We can see if we want to calculate the coordinates of f1 and f2, we can see this is going to be root over 9 minus 5 that is root under a square minus b square comma 0. So, this is going to be 2 comma 0. So, f1 will be 2 comma 0 and f2 will be minus 2 comma 0. Now, there are two parabolas given p1 and p2. One has the foci at f1. So, the equation of this parabola p1 is y square equals 8x. Similarly, there is another parabola p2 whose foci is at minus 2 f is whose foci is at 2 f2 comma 0 and that is going to be y square equals minus 16x. Now, the tangent at this parabola p1 is passing through minus 4 comma 0. Let the slope of that tangent be m1. So, the equation of the tangent will be y equals m1x plus a. The value of a from here is 2. So, this is 2 upon m1. And since this passes through minus 4 comma 0, so this is going to be 0 equals minus 4 m1 plus 2 upon m1. So, the value of m1 square equals half and this will imply 1 upon m1 square is 2. Now, the tangent to this parabola p2 passes through f1 comma 0 that is 2 comma 0. Equation of this tangent can be written as y equals m2x and the value of a from here is minus 4. So, this is minus 4 upon m2 and since this passes through 2 comma 0, so this is going to be 0 equals 2 m2 minus 4 upon m2 and so the value of m2 square is equals to 2. According to question, we have to answer for 1 upon m1 square plus m2 square and that is equals 4. Hence, the answer for this question is 4. In question number 49, alpha is given to be 3 sin inverse 6 upon 11 and beta is given to be 3 cos inverse 4 upon 9 and we have to select correct option from A, B, C, D. Let us go for this alpha first. If we will see the value 6 upon 11, this is definitely going to be greater than 1 upon 2. Now, if we will go for sin verse 6 upon 11, so this is definitely greater than sin verse half as sin verse is an increasing function. Now, if we will multiply both sides by 3, this side is going to be alpha and this alpha is going to be greater than 3 sin verse half. The value of sin was half is pi by 6. So, this is going to be pi upon 2. So, we can see ke alpha is slightly greater than pi by 2. Now, for beta, we can see 4 upon 9 is less than half and this will give us cos inverse 4 upon 9 since cos inverse is a decreasing function. So, this will be greater than cos inverse half. If we are multiplying both side by 3, this side is going to be beta and that is definitely greater than 3 cos inverse half that is pi. So, if we will see option A cos beta, cos beta from here you can see is going to be a negative quantity as beta is slightly greater than pi. So, we can see ki beta is in third quadrant hence cos beta is negative. About sin beta we can see again with the same logic sin beta is also negative in the third quadrant. Now, if we are talking about alpha plus beta, this is going to be 90 plus 180, this is going to be 270. So, alpha plus beta value belongs to fourth quadrant and if this is in fourth quadrant, we can easily say cos alpha plus beta will be a positive quantity and for alpha, you can see alpha is greater than pi by 2. So, this is going to be in second quadrant. So, cos alpha is again negative. So, the correct options from these is going to be B, C and D. So, the answer for this question is B, C and D.